Hey, what's up everybody? Back in the basement again today to talk about this, the Sorinex Iron Bear, which I've had for quite a while, but I realized I never really did a video on because it's like a dumbbell rack for the most part, right? What kind of review do you really wanna see? But then I got to thinking when I was purchasing this thing, there was no video reviews or anything on YouTube about it. In fact, the only thing I could find is on Sorinex website, which is okay, but I always like to get other people's opinion or at least kind of see what I'm getting myself into. And that just wasn't available here with the Iron Bear. And I figured if I did a video like this, it may help someone make up their mind if this is something right for them to purchase. Now, let me start off by saying that this thing is not going to work for 99% of the people in my situation, which is at a home gym. And I say that because even though this thing is awesome, as I'll talk about in this video, the price point on here just isn't really justifiable for most of the people out there. So even if you go into Soar Nexus site, the list price on this thing is like 1600 bucks. But what you'll notice is that is for the four foot tall and three tier section. This thing is more than four feet tall and it has five tiers on it. And it has some other customizations, which all in after delivery ended up costing me just under $3,500 which is a lot of money for a lot of people. Even for me, someone who invests a lot of money in their gym, that was a very hard pill to swallow. I think one of the things that made it a little bit easier was the fact that you have to custom order it and you have to pay for it in advance. So by the time it finally shipped, I had forgotten the pain that came along with ordering this thing. But it is awesome, but it is definitely pricey and the price is gonna really vary depending on some of the other things that you get in terms of what you order with your Iron Bear. So for me, the main thing I wanted with this was something to cover my dumbbell set of five to 100 pounds in five pound increments. So there's about 20 sets of dumbbells in total. I had a previous solution through Rep Fitness and their modular storage, which actually worked pretty well for the most part. It was much more affordable, under $1,000. In fact, way under $1,000. The problem was is it didn't fit all of my dumbbells. Now I could have added more shelves to this, but to be honest, I just really didn't like how it looked overall and aesthetically, which for me in my gym is something that I've been trying to put more focus on in the last year. And the rep one just wasn't doing it for me. And I wanted something a little bit extra, if you will. And one of the things I really wanted to do was go three by three with one inch spacing, because as you'll notice my rack and some of my other pieces of equipment I have are built off that three by three infrastructure, which is great because it means I can really adapt and use a lot of my different stuff like adult Legos, which is something that I wanted to do. Now, one of the things I also wanted to do was get some of these saddles. You know, I'm used to, you know, previous life going to a commercial style gym and I really liked the dumbbell saddles versus just a dumbbell shelf that doesn't have it. And that was some of the options with some of the other things I looked at, which is the Rogue Monster line of uh, their mass storage system. They do have a dumbbell shelf. It is three by three, it is one inch holes, but their dumbbell shelves don't have the saddles themselves. So UHMW saddles here, everything fits really fine. And again, it fits the same for my five pound dumbbells all the way up to the hundred pound dumbbells. And even for these urethane ones I have from Rep Fitness, which are great, even if I got their heaviest, which I believe is like 125 pounds, it would still fit in these saddles without an issue. Now, the only downside to that to me with this is these dumbbell shelves are expensive. So they're about $300 each. I got four of them, that's $1,200 just there for the dumbbell shelves alone. I do have a kettlebell shelf or a kind of a catch everything shelf, if you will, at the very top. This one was like $209. So again, your price point's going to vary depending on what you wanna get. I mean, you could probably get just the flat shelf or a dumbbell shelf without the UHMW because it does have metal backing in between, which would catch, you know, like a hex style dumbbell or even the urethane ones I have here. And it's probably gonna be a little bit less, but again, if you're trying to fit a lot of dumbbells on here, it is going to be an added expense. Now, one of the downsides, or I think the only downside of the actual urethane and the saddles here, besides the cost, is the fact that again, as I mentioned, they're the same size for any of these dumbbells, meaning that up top, where I have anywhere from five pounds all the way to 25 pounds, I could probably condense that because of the space that these don't take up and fit in another pair or two at least of dumbbells on here. So I should be able to fit more than 20 pairs on here based off of the overall footprint of this Iron Bear, which I have to say is pretty massive, right? i am got the camera back pretty far. I'm on the widest setting for this particular lens. So you can see me in here. I'm just under six foot four. And this thing is taller than me when it's loaded up with some of this stuff. 
It's over 90 inches wide, so it does take up a lot of space. This is a big commitment, which is another reason why I don't think it's necessarily ideal for most home gym users. To be honest though, one of the things that I do potentially like about this is the footprint that it takes up. I just mentioned it's bad, it's big, but because I don't have necessarily all walls here where I am in the basement, it's kind of one big open area, I do have an unfinished space to the side, which I haven't really thought about what I wanna do yet. If I wanna build a wall there with drywall, if I wanna put some other equipment there, this could actually act as like a faux wall or like a dividing wall because it's basically what it is. And that also would add more to the usability of this thing. As you can see right here, it's kind of in this kitty corner. I think it fits really nice and out of the way considering what it is. But the downside is, as you take a look at some of the uprights here, each upright can actually handle two bars in the front and two bars in the rear. Meaning that overall, this Sornex Iron Bear as is standard can hold eight barbells, which this one is currently holding. But you'll notice in this back corner here, those two dumbbells in the back are pretty much impossible to get to because there is a small kitty corner wall there. The ones here on this side, a little bit easier to handle just because I can just come back here and get them in and out as I will but that does limit some of the usability of this rack if number one, as I mentioned, you wanna get those barbells, or number two, maybe you don't want the barbells on there and you wanna use these three by three posts for storage or something like that. And speaking of storage and things like that, on this side, I actually have a bunch of utility pins and I've found some pretty unique ways to use it. In fact, this is the first way that I've found to actually hold my lever belts. Now my prong belts, no problem, I can hang up by the buckle. These ones are not as easy. So I have three lever belts right here on two utility pins. Down here I have a dip belt. I have a Spud Ink belt squat belt. I have some other bow ties from Spud Ink. Down here I have uh, my Sorenex dip bar and I could probably mount this on here if I really wanted to, uh, but a lot of options that way. On the other side, not so much because again, it's against that wall. I don't have any access there. I could probably pull it out some if I wanted to, but I'm not really good at pulling things out. And it just is fine as it is because it actually leaves a little bit of space where I currently have my rogue wagon wheels kind of wedged between and it works out okay. So I just put some of the bars that I never use in that back corner and it just gets them up off the floor and out of the way. So I do like that. Now coming back over here, some other things just really quick to talk about. I do have the double or multi-layer option of a logo. So one of the things and one of the reasons I went with Sornex is for the customization. Now, obviously they're more expensive than Rogue. They're more expensive than something like the Frey Fitness who has like a knockoff of Rogue's Mass Monster Storage. I wanted something white, first of all. So Sornex is great about customization in that regard. I wanted the saddles, which they offered here. And I also wanted some logo branding. One of the things I've been trying to do with all the pieces that I've been getting in, as you'll notice, is have my logo branded on them. Really kind of trying to personalize my gym. This thing has one on this side, it looks great. I was under the impression that for that $300 that this thing cost, I was gonna get one for this side and one for the other side, but no, just one for $300. I think they offer a single layer logo for like 150 or something like that. Maybe I should have doubled up that way. The good news is, is as where this thing currently sits, you're not going to see that side anyway where that logo is. Um, and you're probably not gonna see that here because again, it's back here in the corner, but I do like it. I think it adds a nice touch and it's really well done. But then again, it should be for $300. Now on the top, I mentioned I had this kettlebell shelf, if you will, I kind of have this as more of a catch-all, meaning that I currently have some medicine balls up here. I have one of my landmine attachments here. I do have some kettlebells up here. One of the things that's kind of a struggle with this is because it's so big and beefy, and I have four dumbbell shelves already and a kettlebell shelf. I find some people have like a catch-all shelf on the bottom or they like to raise their dumbbell shelves up and only have maybe four shelves and then a big open space on the bottom to put kettlebells and other things. The problem with that is as you start to move these dumbbell shelves up, as you can tell already, being just under six foot four, I refuse to say six three because I used to be six four in my younger days. But up here, if I were to have the dumbbells already any higher as is, these aren't necessarily the easiest things to get to. It's a little bit awkward, but again, they're light enough and it's easy for me to do. But my wife comes down here and trains. She's shorter than I am. She's still on the taller side, but shorter than me. So these are just at a really weird angle, which most people wouldn't like. Luckily up here, things that are really easy to grab and get. And it's nice because it actually comes with a little shelf lining here, which is like a, a roll of stall mats, which is great because it's not metal on metal with things like kettlebells. So it's a nice extra touch as is stuff like I already mentioned with the UHMW saddles and whatnot. Now, speaking of weird angles, one of the things that I do actually like about the Iron Bear itself is these dumbbell shelves 
The way that the shelves are welded, it's not centered in the brackets themselves, meaning that the dumbbell shelf is forward on one side and has a little bit of extra space on the other side. And how I've used that to my advantage is I have all the dumbbell shelves in the back position for these three rows and the heaviest row on the bottom, which I have anywhere from, it looks like I think uh, 90 pounds or 80 pounds up to the hundreds. I have it forward. So if you take a look at the side profile here, the bottom ones actually stick out further which makes them the easiest to grab overall. And that's good because they're heavy. So I do like that about this setup. Now, speaking of heavy, this thing weighs a ton. It's like a thousand pounds. It was almost impossible to put it together by myself. I did it somehow I managed. Hopefully I have a video clip. I'll show you of me actually getting the shelves in by myself because that almost ended my life. I ended up having to use some bands to brace things together and bolts and push things in. And I somehow managed to do it, especially these ones up top. My original idea was to put this together on the floor and just kind of stand it up, like lift it, but it's a thousand pounds and by myself, I'm super stubborn, it just wasn't happening. And this thing is pretty much never moving from this spot, knock on wood or concrete or urethane in this case. Um, but overall, I really like this thing. I think it fits the space super well. It's perfect for what I wanted. It has a lot of upgrades and accessibility. You could daisy chain this to a rack. You could actually initially, when I set this up, I was going to have a lat pull down on this side. So you could have an integrated weight stack lat pull down or adjustable cable column on this. You have a ton of great options, but again, it's going to be costly. So for most people, I can't recommend it, but if you're looking at getting it, you're probably already committed to pay more or you're willing to pay more. And I think this is well worth the money. You can get pretty much any design or specs you want. If you want this taller, you can. I think you can go up to six total shelves on this. Pretty impressive. Uh, I actually have some stuff thrown under here. I have an Oak Club manufacturing barbell holder, which I have my shoulder rock on on the side as well. Uh, but I'm really happy with this overall. But again, I should be for like 30, 500 bucks. And that was when their shipping was cheaper. Shipping for this was just about 400 to $500, which sounds like a lot. But now that I start quoting some other stuff out, which is like six months later, shipping has gone up tremendously. So this was a good deal shipped to me for that 400 to $500. Now, if I didn't answer anything, you have any specific questions on this, let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.